In fact, there are some of us relationally that have been given a good hand. You've been given good parents. You actually have a good man. You've got a good woman. Your problem is you don't know how to work the good hand you've been given. And, and then there are some of us that have been given a good hand, but you're so busy looking at somebody else's hand that you can't appreciate what you've been given. You're so busy looking at their life and mimicking their life that you don't have appreciation for the hand that you have. But then there are some of us that don't make progress because they're so busy blaming the dealer for what they did not get. In other words, there are some of us that are so mad about the advantage that you didn't get or the opportunity that you did not receive that you can't play uh, the hands that are in uh, available unto you. And see, how many of us understand that in the game of Uno, it's not necessarily about the advantage cards. As long as you have every color, you've got a card to play. In other words, as long as I got a color, I'm good to go. In other words, I'm straight with green because green represents his provision. The gold represents his majesty. The blue represents his royalty. And I love red cards because they remind me that I'm covered by the blood. And how many of us know today, friends, that the dealer doesn't determine who wins the game. The one who wins is the one that works with the hand they've been given. And do I have it? least seven uno saints in the room today that are not going to spend time complaining about your cards. You're not going to spend life looking at somebody else's hand. You're going to learn how to thank God for the cards that you have, and you're going to do the best with what you've been given because life never goes like you planned it. Can the church say amen? 